Hi everyone! I wanted to do a quick unboxing, and I have already kind of unboxed it here, um, of another menstrual cup that I had purchased off of eBay. Um, and it's called the Silky Cup, and it's from India. So the, it did come in a poly mailer, and of course I am covering this side because it has all of my personal information. And then it had this box in it, and there was a paper that was on it like this, and it's just a it's just like a packing slip and it has a um, a signature from the person I guess it's kind of like a um, um, international form or something so then there was this box and I went ahead and just cut open the tape and <laughs> there's another package inside and I hope this isn't making too too much noise so, and I had gotten the medium size. They do carry three sizes, and it's small, medium, and large. And um, I have a lot of large cups, so I went ahead and just went for the medium. Um, and I'm, I did open this again, so I do know that the papers in here do say what, um, or the box does say, another box, um, does say what each size or what they recommend and here they are if you want to pause your screen to read that and I'll go ahead and show the bottom here and so here is the front of the box and the other side now this is TPE and I didn't read that when I purchased it off of eBay um, the only other cup that I know of that is TPE is the Maluna cup, and I honestly don't really care for TPE. Um, so I guess I'll I'll go ahead and give it a try. I can't do it this cycle, and I'm on my cycle right now, but um, I had some problems with another cup earlier this week, and uh, ever since then I've been really, really crampy. I used my Eva cup for a while and, and it was fine but I was just continuing to cramp and then I used a Juju cup and again I just continued to cramp so I just got rid of all my cups for this um, this cycle just because it, it's been keeping me in bed. So hopefully again this doesn't make a whole bunch of noise and I'm not going to do a review on it I'll just go over um, my first thoughts about the cup. Um, since I didn't really take it out yet. Uh, there is a pamphlet here. And this cup was $15 um, USD and the shipping was free. I purchased it on um, the 9th of March and it is the 19th. So it didn't take too long. I was I was surprised um, that it didn't take longer. Uh, when I had tried to send something to India, they said it might take up to two months. So I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to come um, as fast as it did. Their drawstring pouch is quite large. It's a nice bag. Feels silky. Suits the name. And here's the cup. So like I said, it is TPE. So it does have that real plasticky feel. And you can hear it. I don't care for that. Um, but TPE feels more grippy to me. Um, so I, I could see why they didn't need to put grip rings on it. Like if I press on the cup, and you can see the amount of pressure I'm putting just by my nail beds turning colors, and I pull, my fingers hardly slip. My dog just entered the room. Open the door. Thanks. <laughs> um, so there are no grip rings, and here comes the other dog. I'll be right back. I'm going to close the door again because I have um, my son and his buddies over watching TV. All right, <laughs> sorry about that. So um, there are no grip rings on it, but like I said, it's really, really grippy. This um, stem isn't very f 
well, it, it is flexible, but it doesn't have that spring like some of the other um, stems do. Again, no grip rings on that, and it's a solid, a solid piece. I'm, I'm trying to smash it here. I'm so off today. So um, I would probably cut that off, and you can see that that seam is quite low into the cup. So you have a good amount of meat to cut that stem if you need to. Now this was a medium size and it's quite large. I am glad that I didn't get the large cup. I don't know how much larger um, that would be. So this is a medium here and it's about the same size as the Diva cup without the stem and the diameter of it is pretty similar. Um, I think that it's just just maybe a millimeter off than the uh, smaller than the Diva Cup um, diameter and that was a large also. Um, there are no markings besides the molded M on the inside and that's just to indicate that this is a medium there. There, there are two suction release holes in there they seem quite narrow. Um, this one is actually not punched all the way through. This this one in the front, but this one is. So I'll have to punch that through. Um, my dogs are playing. Sorry. There isn't a secondary rim here like the the Diva Cup, where there you can see that transition right here. Um, where it comes out some, I'm sorry, that bump. There isn't that secondary there, but if you can see, there's kind of a line. Mm, there it is. There's kind of a line right there on the back of my cup. Um, and from that line up, it does seem to get thicker. So it's a invisible um, secondary line, if you will. So it does get uh, more firm from that little line or from that invisible line to the top. There is a seam that runs around the rim here in the center of it, all the way around. And it's it's not too badly raised. So again, I'm not going to be able to try this cup right now. Uh, but I was playing around with it, seeing if my normal punch down fold would work. And I'm not going to put a whole bunch of pressure on, on these fingers here, just holding it together. And here's the punch down fold, and it's just kind of sticking there. So I don't think that fold is going to work out for me. Let's see if I can keep coaxing it open there, finally. Um, so I think probably the C fold or the U fold, maybe another fold will work, but uh, it just kind of feels not sticky, but it just has that plasticky, sticky sound when you um, touch it to itself. But it is a smooth design, and it's a, it seems really narrow. It's a really veed, and again, here is my um, Diva Cup, but it it's just a really hard V there. Not hard, but it's a, it is a nice design cup. I think that people that are sensitive to all those little bumps and stuff, they would actually like this cup a lot just because it lacks any of those features uh, and it's still nice and grippy. Anyhow, um, it'll probably be you know another month before I get to try it out. I may try it on a dry run, but because of my cramps at this time, I'm not going to even attempt to to insert it on a dry run. So if you're gonna, um, if you want to see a review on this cup, you're just gonna have to wait. I'm I'm sorry. Um, and yeah, that's about all I have to say about it right now. Uh, inexpensive. It was a good price, and it didn't ship too long. So check them out on on eBay. It is the Silky Cup again. And they come in three sizes. Uh, I 
think it was only, I think they only have clear, sorry, or this frosted uh, color here. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the review on it.